I used to hate myself as a kid because I had cerebral palsy and, and used to doubt, why me, why me? Why do I have this thing? Just, if people could provide me with an answer, it would be a whole lot easier, but I guess they can't, so sometimes it's just miserable, really, because some, some days are really hard to face. I've had so many bands over the years reject me because of my disability. No matter how good I play at the audition, they always say, oh, someone better came along. I've always taken that no as a determination to come back and try again. The real time I was getting down was probably about from year three to year four when I was in a school, a mainstream school, um, and I was the only one needing help. My parents then made the decision to move me to Jasper Road Public School, which has a physical unit and a mainstream classes. And there I found I could help others as well as being helped. And that boosted my confidence back up and I've been like that ever since really. One day this sort of turned it around and said to myself, well, what if I forget I've got cerebral body and expect myself to do like anything I want to do and just put so much work into it and um, that's what I've done. I just think like normal healthy people I am normal, healthy person, I didn't have slid, speech and walk funny. Well, apart from my arms and legs looking like twisties, I don't feel any different from other people. Having cerebral palsy is who I am. It's just me. I think more about my ability than disability. I hardly ever think about my disability. I, I've got cerebral palsy for the rest of my life and it, there's no point in dwelling on stuff that you can't change. Having a disability is nothing to me and it's never going to get in my way. Like, people remind me I've got a disability, I forget. I think a good way of building self-confidence is what I have on my on my bedroom wall is a list of all the all the good qualities that I have. When I'm hurt, I bounce back. I I can be trusted. Um, I'm I'm a good person to be around. I think a good way of building self-confidence is to, to think about what you're good at, what your strengths are, and don't let people pull you down. And right now, today, I feel so good like, on top of me. Like, I'm at me prime, and I just, I don't think nothing will get in your way.